Hi y'all, I'm Haley Rantia and I am sitting in Bonnie Raitt's favorite chair at the record parlor in the heart of Hollywood. And I am having so much fun here today. I absolutely love this place. I've learned so much about record players and vinyls and I'm super excited to be here and be surrounded by so much music that um, is inspiring to me that I grew up listening to and just more to discover while I'm here. As a singer, listening to music on vinyl has a completely different feel than the, you know, modern, just downloaded through your phone or even on a CD. Um, there's something about the way that it sounds as it's on the record player and it, it almost has that little fuzzy noise over it. I don't know why that's such a cool sound, but I have even had people try to put that into my songs that I tried to write now so it at least sounds kind of like that. It's funny because it's something that you can't really help while you're playing it on there and and it's such a cool sound that I don't know makes everybody feel a little more like warm and cozy in, in a way I guess that we try to put it in like records uh, that are modern and, and I don't know it's that to me is the biggest difference between now and then and playing it on vinyl but um, I just bought a, a record player and I've been playing a lot of new vinyls and a lot of old ones too and I love it. There's just something really cool about dancing around the room listening to <laughs> a vinyl on a record player. Right now I have the Whitney Houston album, the one with I Wanna Dance With Somebody on it because it's my favorite song. I've got a Sonny and Cher album. I've got a um, Charlie Pride. I've got, what else? Um, Michael Jackson Thriller, that was like a must. Um, and then a new one that me and my roommate just got uh, was the 1975. We really love that one. I, I'm so ready to get some more, but I need to update my record player because it was not a very good one. So I'm getting a new one and then we're just gonna buy a ton of vinyls. It must be a coincidence that they're all 80s records because I actually got all of them before I was on the Goldbergs, um, the 80s show. So um, I don't know, I guess it's just kind of an ongoing theme in my life, the 80s, and that's okay by me.